Hi everyone, welcome back to Eden. How are you all doing? So we have been discussing about types of pronouns in the previous classes. Today also we'll discuss that. Before that, please do like, share and subscribe. Okay, so today we'll be discussing about interrogative pronouns. So what are interrogative pronouns? So interrogative, like I, I've been telling you all these days, like from the name itself, we'll be getting some information regarding what type of pronoun is, how is it being used? So interrogation, what is an interrogation? Generally, we'll be hearing about this particular word, isn't it? Interrogate means to ask questions. So when we are using this word interrogative pronoun, that is indicating these are the pronouns which are used to ask questions to the subject. Okay, they'll be asking questions about the subject or to the subject. So the words which are used to interrogate to the words which are being used to make such question statements. We, are, we call them as interrogative pronouns. These are the words like what, which, who, whom. Okay. Whose? So these are the words which we use in order to ask questions. What is your name? Like, okay? Which color do you like? Who is your teacher? Or whom do you like the most? Okay, whose pen is this? So these are some questions which we generally use by using the words. So we will see some sentences wherein you will be answering like we have done in the previous video. Okay. So interrogative pronouns are nothing but they are, these are the words or these are the pronouns which are used to ask questions related to the subject again. Remember, we will see what they are. Okay. So suppose dash do you want for dinner? So this is a question. So what can probably come here? Do we ask which do you want? Do we ask who do you want? No, we will simply ask what do you want? What do you want for dinner? Dinner is the subject. We are just relating the pronoun with the subject. What do you want for the dinner? Like what do you want for dinner? No the, sorry. Okay, what do you want for dinner? You should not use the along with lunch, dinner and breakfast. This is what we have learned in articles, right? So what do you want for dinner? Okay, so that is the interrogative pronoun here. Now, dash color do you like? So you will be using which color do you like? Isn't it? So that is a question. Because here again, we are relating it to the noun and subject. Noun and subject. Noun and pronouns are being related, okay? So, the subjects are related. Which color do you like? Or, dash, we can say dash was during the, driving the car. Driving the car. So we, will, we are asking about car and driving. Who is doing the action? Okay. So we will be using a question like who. Who was driving the car? Who was driving the car? Right. Next. Dash phone is this. So we are just asking a question. We are trying to ask about a phone. To know whom does it belong to. That means whose phone is this. You can fill it easily. Isn't it? Interrogation is very easy. Like similarly. Dash are you talking 
about you are talking about someone who is that whom are you talking about or whom are you talking to so these are the interrogative pronouns you can just go for more number of interrogative pronouns with questionings like you can say uh, we, uh, whose pen is this whose phone is this all these are similar kind like whom did you tell suppose if i'm saying dash did you tell we'll say whom did you tell okay whom did you tell about something whom did you tell about this or dash is your uh, daughter's name or son's name means what is your daughter's name what is your son's name like that you understood so interrogative pronouns are those words which are used to ask questions to the subject and to the object they are interrelated right next kind is next is relative pronoun so relative pronoun what are relative pronouns relative pronouns are used to connect what will they connect they will connect a clause or a phrase to a noun or a pronoun okay they are used to connect relative means like relation connection okay so relative pronoun means like a connection what are they connecting they are connecting a clause or a phrase they'll connect a clause or a phrase to what do they connect to a noun or a pronoun so that means they are acting as a barrier in mean interconnection we can say okay so they will be connecting a clause or a phrase to the noun or a pronoun okay what is this clause and what is this phrase in simple i'll just tell you because it is not about clauses and phrases but what is a clause a clause is something which has got subject and verb it has got both subject and verb phrase doesn't have subject and verb it don't have a subject and verb okay it is simply a combination of words this is also combination of words which has got both subject and verb but phrase is simply a combination of words which doesn't have a subject and a verb so together they form a sentence okay they'll be seen in a sentence but okay whatever it is here this particular relative pronoun which we are talking about it will be connecting the clause and a or a phrase to what to the noun or the pronoun so that is what is important here so like words what are the words which are used to connect them okay like who whom okay who whom whose which whose and that okay so these are also like interrogative pronouns but here these words are not used to ask a question they are not used to ask a question but they are used as a connector okay they are used as a connector like for example the candle the candle that was on my table the candle that was on my table burned out okay so here you can see the candle okay the candle is simply a phrase the candle is simply a phrase or it is see candle is nothing but the noun it is connecting the noun and the or the pronoun with the word that that is a relative pronoun so they are used to connect a clause or a phrase to a noun or a pronoun this is the noun the candle is the noun it is connecting to what that was on my table burned out 
okay that was on my table burned out simply if you say was on my table burned out it will be considered as a phrase it doesn't give any sense if you just take without this if you just take was on my table burned out it is a group of words it is a phrase it don't have a particular subject and a particular verb but it is acting as a phrase so a phrase is connected to what to the noun so the candle that was on my table is burned out who is connecting that this word that that is called as a relative pronoun understood one more example like the car the car which hit him the car which hit him was yellow in color so what is the noun here the noun is car the car so you need to connect the noun with the phrase or a clause so here which hit hit is the verb okay which hit him was hit him was yellow in color so it is connect, connecting what is connecting the word which so the car which was which actually hit him was yellow in color so we are trying to talk about the car which was related to the accident okay so that color is yellow so those are being connected with a word which right or the game these are few examples wherein you will be able to the game dash we loud the game dash we loud oh you can say the game that was okay so the game dash we loud was football so what could it be what could the connector or the relative pronoun be that means we are talking about the game that we love so that's it so the game that we loved was football so while i was young the game that i loved was football like that okay so here you're connecting you're connecting the noun that is game with the phrase with a phrase loved was football loved was football was a simple phrase okay or fill this out the victory dash was my first the victory dash was my first mm. surprised everyone so here i have won something okay what is the sentence i have won something so that is the victory and everybody is surprised because it is my first victory so what can be the probable relative pronoun be here can it be who the victory who was my no can it be that no can it be whom no can it be whose no it can be the victory which was my which was my first okay the victory which was my first surprised everyone so the one which i won okay so that is a connector so this is a relative pronoun they will be very easy like they are a similar words like interrogative only but here you can see we are not using them for questioning right though both of them have got similar words they are not being used for next the player the player dash i bet 
is from France. So, so the player dash I bet is from France. So here you can check out the words. So you can see, you can, both two words can go well in this. The player that I bet is from France or the player, because it is player, the player whom I bet is from France. Both will go. Whom or that. Right? Did you understand this? So, relative pronouns are those which will be relating the noun or a pronoun with. Instead of using a noun. Okay. Instead of using a noun, if the sentence has got a pronoun, even the pronoun which is being connected with the phrase or a clause is again a relative pronoun. Right? So, those pronouns, if in case of interrogative pronouns, the interrogative pronouns are generally asked in the beginning. Okay? And it is followed by a question mark. Here, they will be acting just like a connectors. Next. Next is reciprocal pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns means there are only two reciprocal pronouns. Each other, each other and one other, one another. Each other and one another. Only two reciprocal pronouns. What are these reciprocal pronouns? When there are two subjects. Okay? When <coughs> excuse, excuse me. So when there are two subjects and when they are doing the same action on each other. Suppose, suppose me and my friend. Okay? Me and some X are there. I'm talking to X and X is talking to me. Okay? I'm talking to X and X is talking to me. That means we are doing the same action. Two subjects are doing the same action. So we are talking. We are talking to each other. We are talking to each other. This each other word which is there. It is called as a reciprocal pronoun. So what is a reciprocal pronoun? A reciprocal pronoun is something when there are two pronouns which are doing the same action on each other. And the action is being done on each other, towards each other. Then we call it as a reciprocal pronoun. Like for example, like I have already told one example, when two persons are doing the similar action and it is being done on one another. See, I have used again the same word. So like this, you will be using each other on one another in sentences depending upon. When do we use each other and when do we use one another? Each other is when they are only two. When they are only two, we will be saying each other. When there are many, suppose if there is a gang of ten members and each one in the gang, all the ten members are fighting to one another. There we won't say each other. Okay? Then we'll say the gangsters or the members of the gang are fighting to one with one another. Okay? You understood the difference where how to use each other and one another? So when it is taken as between two people, two subjects, then it is each other. When it is taken as a group and like among the group so many are there, then you will be using the word one another. Like I have to, they all support. Suppose if I am saying... So what word should be filled here? What should be filled? I said they. They is about plural means many. Okay. All is also indicating many. So they all support means they are supporting one another. Each one of them are supporting one another. This is called as a Reciprocal. Reciprocal. What is reciprocal? The inversion. Reciprocal is nothing but the inversion, isn't it? If I'm doing like this, they are also doing it reverse to me. That is a recipro that is called as reciprocating. So reciprocal pronouns means they are 
doing the same action to one another. Right? The last type of pronouns which are generally ignored Okay, Akyak, Akyak pronouns. So you can, from the name again, archaeology is the department which studies about old things or sciences or anything. So Akyak pronouns are, these are the pronouns which are found in old texts. They are not existing now. Okay, they don't exist now. We won't be using them now. In the current text, they have been like uh, discarded or we can say that they are not being used anymore. But when you refer textbooks which are from the previous generations like from the ancient times, then you will definitely find these words, these pronouns. So those are called as archaic pronouns. So like words which are generally found like thy Thine, thou, okay, uh, a, okay, the, these are the words which are used in ancient texts. Like, for example, we can say, thou shall not kill, thou shall not kill. What is this thou is indicating? Thou indicates you. You shall not kill. This you is plural. You shall not kill. Okay? Thou shall not kill. Thy. Thy means your. Okay? Thy indicates your. Thine again you. Thou I have said. Ye. Ye also indicates you. And the is like you'll be using for you again. So these are all you and your words. But these are pronouns which are used only in ancient texts. Right? So with that all the different types of pronouns are over. So try to practice as many examples as you can. And thank you. Take care.